Georgina, Head of the Centre here at Qualified Education and in this video I'm going to guide you through how to log in and use your ePortfolio. So your ePortfolio is called eCordia and the first thing that we need to do is find the web page and log in. So I'm going to type into my box here www.ecordia.co.uk and I'm going to go over to the right hand side and click log in. And what that will do for you is bring up another page. It's just worth remembering this um, because when you start closing things down at the end you'll find that you've got two pages open. Okay, so you should have been emailed your um, username and your password so I'm just going to type mine in now. So your skill scan is a way that we as a centre can see what kind of experience, what kind of knowledge you've got before you start the course. You'll have been sent a skill scan in your welcome email and on this you'll have noted that you've got the units, you've got the learning outcomes and then you've been asked um, if you, what knowledge, skills and experience you've got to prove that you know about it or where you're going to get that knowledge from. Now this wasn't intended to be a trick document or anything like that. We do understand that it's quite difficult to complete. What we want here, there's no right or wrong. We just want a guide as to where you are. Are you a complete beginner or have you been a teaching assistant or working in the sector for a really long time? You've got lots of experience and it just gives your assessor an idea of where you're starting from. And it's updating my progress. From now on, when I log in, this will be where I'm taken to straight away. My portfolio is now live, which means that my assessor can start giving me the units that I need to complete and I can make a start on my qualification. OK, so that is your first time login. Um, there are a few more videos that are going to tell you how to do things now further down the line, how to upload your work, how to accept plans. So please have a look at some of the other videos and just make sure that you understand what you're doing with your portfolio.